Okay guys, this is Singularity Beast Upgrades Part 5. So the third and final video card has arrived and it's in the system. I've put all the backplates on the video cards. I've put all the coolants quick disconnects in, the new ones. Uh, and that's about where I'm at at the moment and the reason for that is because I've come across a few serious problems. Nothing is going as it as expected but nothing ever really does um, but all it means is that you guys are going to see a whole lot more videos uh, in this series than I expected. One of the problems is the dust filters didn't fit. That's the way it goes when you're upgrading um, you know you just got to try things out try out ideas if they don't work if you don't like the way they look or you know the same goes for when you're building a system a uh, complex system like this not everything works out I mean you can't get the exact measurements and specifications of every single part that you're going to put in the system some things have to be done by chance and you've just got to try them out and if they don't work you just replace them just do something else so that's what ha has happened with these dust filters okay so I'm just about to install these filters on my 480 millimeter Feza exchanger radiator so I've just got the radiator off here at the moment. I've pulled it off, um, you know, using my coolant adjustable radiator mount that I have, which makes it very easy. Uh, because basically, this has a little releasing. You just push this across. It's pretty difficult to do with one hand, but you can see it moving there. Now what that does is releases it off these and it just pops straight off so you don't have to undo anything and the fans that I have allow me to disconnect the cables uh, it's a bit dark down here but yeah straight off the fans so it's pretty easy to remove the rear radiator with the way I've designed it anyway have a look at the dust I cleaned this thing a week ago, uh, but I didn't actually pull it apart and clean it properly. I just cleaned it while it was on the system with a very powerful vacuum, mind you. Okay, so I've pulled everything apart, cleaned it all up, and put it all back together now. It's all lovely and clean, but I'm having to put it back together the way it was, unfortunately. I'm very disappointed that these Lee and Lee dust filters did not fit on my radiator. I mean fair enough I didn't do any measurements these aren't actually designed for radiators that is on for Lee and Lee cases where you've just got one 120 millimeter fan something like that so unfortunately I'm gonna have to try something else because these things don't fit it was so very close frustratingly close basically the, uh, there needs to be 15 millimeters between the two screws here and that's where these dust filters have to come together right next to each other and the dust filters have more than a 15 millimeter gap it's probably an 18 to 20 millimeter gap so it's all back together exactly how it was it's just a hell of a lot cleaner okay so as well as having problems with the dust filters I've also been having problems with one of the video cards and it's a very annoying intermittent problem that I didn't pick up when I did the initial testing uh, and what I mean by the initial testing is always before you water cool the graphics card um, you know put a water block on a graphics card you test it thoroughly you need to test it thoroughly because a lot of the time you're avoiding your warranty it's very annoying to pull apart a water cooled system and pull the water block off the card and put the air cooler back on and send it back uh, you know if it's faulty or DOA or whatever so you want to test it thoroughly first and I did that but this certain problem uh, it started happening during boot uh, only cold boots the system would would freeze during boot um, sometimes artifact but it would only happen at first kind of once a week and I, I wasn't too concerned about it but it started happening more frequently I did only say there'd be two more videos um, in you know in the last Singularity Beast Upgrades episode but 
with all these problems cropping up and things going on I've decided to split it up into a lot more videos um, and continue this series for quite a bit longer because there's a lot of performance results that I want to bring you I've had some requ requests from subscribers yeah, I just thought I'd show you the um, back plate on the card on one of the cards while it was out of the system and also just what it looks like with the water block on it so I've actually just finished installing the water block. Bit of a um, annoying kind of job, fiddly, time consuming. You know, you just got to make sure you get it right. So the pe for the people who don't already know, this is a Gainwood Phantom GTX 580 3GB edition. Um, and it has an EK Nickel Plexi uh, it's a, it's called the FC5XOGW. Okay, so despite these problems that I've had, it's awesome to see the backplates on these video cards, and it's great to see all three cards in the system. So this is basically what the system will look like. Um, you know, this is the final configuration, pretty much. You know, there's only a few little things to add. You can see those quick disconnects are now in the system. So I've replaced this one and this one. So all the quick disconnects are how I want them. They're the new Coolant VL4N. I explained them in the last episode. Um, yeah, I've replaced that reservoir as I said I would because of wear and tear. I've put a new one in. So yeah, the mirror finish on the back plates just looks awesome. I mean, look at the reflection there. It really, really looks exactly how I thought it would and how I wanted it to. So I'm very happy. So I'm still to find bright enough UV cold cathodes to put into this system. So I haven't sorted that out yet. That's something that I'll be doing this week. Uh, this will then be going into the system and I'll be finishing the wiring um, you know all the cable management around the back of the system and then I'll be able to show you that so the other thing was the vandal switches for my lighting arrived uh, but they didn't suit the switch panel and I didn't like the way they looked also the wiring um, they came without wiring which I didn't realize so I've decided not to use those ones so I don't yet have a replacement for my military switches okay so the other thing was the LEDs the blue LEDs have arrived for the graphics cards but I haven't put them in yet because I still need to pull out the faulty graphics card and get all that sorted out. Um, the other thing is there's no spots for LEDs in these water blocks so I'm gonna have to find a, a way of you know attaching these LEDs so that they look good and I don't know if that's possible. If you've got any ideas for attaching LEDs to water blocks without facilities for LEDs Put them in the comments please guys that'd be that'd be helpful um yeah these are just the bolts for the top radiator once i replace the fans i'll be replacing those phillips head screw um screws that are in there to allen key bolts and the reason for that is that it's very hard to get a screwdriver up in there to undo them whereas allen keys you know they're at a right angle so it'll be very easy to get an allen key up in there you know to pull the fans off and clean them and what have you uh, and these are the phobia fans that I was talking about in the past episode I have a review on these fans I'll put it up on the screen you can check that out uh, but again I've changed my mind about the fans uh, you know you might think this is a bit a bit silly but this is always the process that I go through when I'm upgrading or building a system if something better comes out in the meantime before I've installed or if I find something better I will be um, always going for that um, you know better component and the reason for this I run a computer business I have you know systems being built and going out all the time so it's not as if I'm wasting the stuff that I'm buying I'm always using it so for me it's really not a problem to swap components around change my mind um, but what I'm intending to put up in there now is the new offerings from 
Noctua. But they're bringing out some absolutely incredible fans. I won't go too much into it, but the, the technologies and ideas that they're using to get maximum airflow are very impressive. Um, and these new fans from Noctua are going to make an excellent radiator fan. So they are the ones that I'm going for. They might not be out for a month or two, and I'll bring you all the details on them in more Singularity Beast upgrade videos. So that pretty much sums up this video. Oh, I think I've covered everything. So as soon as I can get that replacement video card in the system, I will start bringing you those performance and temperature results. And yeah, we can go from there. Those videos should be coming up within the next week. All right, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe and also please favorite the video if you enjoyed it because that really helps me out. Thanks, guys.